cats and welcome to Bedtime Stories with Christy Skate. And we are just picking up where we left off last night. I apologize for my tardiness. I had a friend that needed some help. So let's just go ahead and continue. The voices cease the singer's bashful but smiling. Exchange sidelong glances and silence succeeded but for a moment only. Then from up above and far away, down the tunnels they had so lately traveled, was borne to their ears in a faint musical hum, the sound of distant bells ringing a joyful, clangorous peal. Very well, sung boys, cried the rat heartily. And now come along in, all of you warm yourselves by the fire and have some hot something now. Yes, come along, field mice, cried the mole. Eagerly, this is quite an, like old times. Shut the door after you. Pull up the set and settle into the fire. Now, wait just a minute while we, oh, ratty, he said, cried in despair, plumping down into a seat with tears impending. Whatever are we doing? We've nothing to give them. Okay, we're going to turn the page there. You leave that all to me, said the masterful rat. Here you are with the lantern. Come over this way. I want to talk to you. Now tell me, are there any shops at this hour of night? Certainly, certainly, sir, replied the field mice respectfully. At this time of the year, our shops keep open to all sorts of hours. Then look here, said the rat. You go off at once, and you and your lantern, and you get me home. Here, much muttered conversation, and to the mole, only heard bits of it, such as fresh minds, no. They tell that that will do. See, you buggins, for I won't have any other. No, the best way you can't get it there. Try someone else. Yes, of course. Hi, welcome to the Christy Cape Eve. <laughs> Only the best. If you can't get it there, try someone else. Yes, of course. Homemade, no ten stuff. Well then. Do your best, you can. Finally, there was a chink coin passing from the paw to paw, and the field mouse was provided with an ample basket of his purchases, and off he hurried and his lantern. The rest of the field mice perched in a row and settled, their small legs swinging gazed themselves up in enjoyment of the fire and toasted their chilpiums till they tingled while the moth falling to draw them into easy conversation plunged into family history and made each of them recite their names of his numerous brothers who were too young. It appeared to be allowed to go out caroling this year but looked forward to very short winning and parental consent. The rat, meanwhile, busy examining the label on one of the beer bottles. I perceive this to be old Burton, he remarked approvingly. Sensible mole. This very thing we shall be able to mole some ale. Get the things ready, mole, while I draw the corks. It did not take long to prepare the brew, and thus began Peter to wear the red heat of the fire, and soon the field mice. Hi, Summer. Welcome to the Christy Kate Show. I'm just going to turn the page. We're sipping and coughing and choking for a little mulled ale ghost. 
long way and wiping his eyes and laughing and forgetting he had ever been cold in his life. Hi guys, thanks for watching. They act plays to these fellows. The two moles explain to the rat, make them up by themselves and act them afterwards. And very well, they'll do it too. They gave us a capital one last year about the field mice who were captured at sea but by a barbary uh, corsair and made to grow in a gallery. And when he escaped, he got home again and his lovely lady had gone into a cupboard. Here you, you were in it, I remember. Get up and recite it a bit. The field mouse addressed and got up on his legs, giggled shyly and looked around the room and reminded absolutely tongue-tied. His comrades cheered him on. Mole coaxed and encouraged him and the rat went as far as to take him by the shoulders and shake him. All right, you guys, I have a sleeper, so we're gonna cut it early tonight. Keep it crispy. Hi, welcome to the Crispy Treat Show. We're gonna cut it a little early tonight. I'm sorry for my delay, but I will read a little extra long tomorrow, I 